Hello, welcome everybody to this Google Ads tutorial 2021. My name is Fabio, welcome to the channel. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and do it. Hit that subscribe button. This video, I'm gonna cover Google Ads. Uh, let me show you what I'm gonna do. So this is a graph I did really quick to show you. This right here is, uh, I'm gonna show you how to run a Google ad. I'm gonna walk you through two different types of campaign. One, search, uh, search, uh, search ad, searchable ad, high intent ad. And then I'm gonna uh, walk you through a display ad. And then more at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk to you about uh, Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, how you can put it all together working. Um, and yeah, here's uh, the landing page, the bridge page, and the thank you page. And I have these three in here because they are important. For example, on the thank you page, you wanna be tracking conversions because if you don't track uh, things online, then you're gonna be lost. So you wanna make sure you are tracking. That's why Google Analytics plays a big part here. Um, okay, before we continue, so let me come here. All right, uh, first let me tell you that with Google Ads, it can be overwhelming because there's so much things to do. There's so many things to learn. Um, and uh, just, you know, just don't give up. Keep, keep doing it, keep learning, keep applying. Uh, and eventually you'll be a master at it. it it's a, it's a lot, it's a process. Note that it takes time. It's not something you're gonna learn in one day or in one week and you're gonna be good. No, it's, it's a process. Make sure that you just keep working with Google ads um, and, and eventually you'll become very good. But what I'm gonna show you today in this video basically uh, are the bolts and nuts that you need to know to be able to run uh, ads on Google. I'm gonna go through the basics now. This account that, I've, that I have here, it's a new account. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just want to log in into this account because when you first come to googleads.com, this is the first page you see. It's gonna say, what's your main uh, advert advertisement goal? It's gonna give you the options. And then down here, it's gonna give you this. Are you professional marketer? Switch to expert mode. And this expert mode is what we're gonna be working on because I find it to be easier and it's better. Okay, so, if, if, you, if you switch to uh, expert mode here, it, it will right away, it's gonna start to you a new campaign for you to build a new campaign. And once you finish building the campaign, at the end, they're gonna uh, ask you for your credit card details so that you can, so they can charge you to, for you to run the ads, right? Uh, so that's the thing. If you were to start from beginning, that's what would happen. But now I'm gonna, so for instance, if you started from the beginning, you can go and switch for expert mode here. I'm gonna just gonna log in, I'm just gonna come here to my other account. Okay. And, uh, okay. Loading, let's give it a second. Okay. Loading. Okay. Okay, so up here, you see this button right here, billing? Billing, over here when you go to building and summary, right here is where you can add your credit cards. You can see how much you have in your account. So basically, you can go ahead and you can add the credit card and then you can add funds into your Google Ads. So you can have $100, 500 10000 half a million. No, I mean, you cannot have, you cannot add half a million at once. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never did it and uh, it's too much money in one time. So yeah, but you can add big amounts here if you have a, a big credit card, okay? So that's that's the thing. I'm not gonna show you how to do it. That's very, very self-explanatory. Uh, it's basically add your credit card there, add some funds in it and you're ready to go, okay? Now I'm gonna show you so if you were to start on the other page, you would go straight to create a campaign, which is this button right here. This is the button to create campaigns, this plus button. This is where you create your campaign, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to create a campaign right now. I'm gonna sh show you how to create a searchable ad campaign, uh, which is a very uh, a great way to do it. And uh, so let's go new campaign.
Okay, over here we have all kinds of uh, ways we can go with this. We can, uh, the goal could be uh, getting sales, getting leads, web traffic. Uh, so for instance, if you are uh, sending traffic into a, a, a page and you wanna track the conversions uh, and everything, uh, you could go for it to optimize by leads, uh, right? From the get go. But since you you, uh, you don't you're not gonna have your conversion tracking right from the start, I recommend you always go with web traffic, and then you can optimize. I'm gonna show you basically. I always like with uh, search. I always like to use this one website traffic. You can use any of these. That's fine. But I'm gonna with this example. I'm gonna go with website traffic. Okay. Okay. So now here, I'm gonna talk to you about the search ad, which is uh, search ad is basically. Um, when people search on google.com uh, then the on the results your ad is going to be shown right there let me show you so right here on google if people search for example side side hustles for example you see this is an ad that somebody is paying that's the type of ad that we are running and if we scroll down there should be more there is not i am in portugal uh, but there's one okay for this keyword right here Okay, so these are the type of ads. Let me come here, okay. And display ads is what we're gonna show, is what I'm gonna show you after. This is f to show ads on websites all over the internet, okay? So let's go with search, that's what we're gonna go for it. Click on it and then let's go. And right here on the bottom is gonna show a place for you to enter your website. This website, let me come here to our graph because I did this graph so you could understand better. This right here is our website, let me show you. So this right here, this is actually a funnel. I have a landing page, then I have a bridge page, and then a thank you page. So we are always sending from Google, we're sending the traffic to our landing page, okay? Now I have this landing page as an example so you can see what I'm talking about. This is a landing page. This is the URL of my landing page over here, okay? So I'm gonna copy the URL and here is where I'm gonna add, okay? right here okay then once we do this what we want to do is click continue okay so right here on top the very first thing is the campaign name what campaign name do I want to give this is just the name of the campaign so let's go I'm gonna call this funnily funnily Fabio 2 for example okay and then over here, uh, I'm on the networks, I'm gonna go for just search network because that's what we're going for. We're not doing display or else it's gonna be confusing. We're just doing search network, okay? Then let's go down. Okay, let's go more options here. Okay, this is an important thing right here. I just wanna mention this because this is the start and the, the end date. So normally I run a campaign and I put uh, no end because I'm, I'm always with an eye on my campaigns every day. So I, that's why I leave it and none at the end date. But if you're running a campaign for let's say one week, I recommend you set the date over here, right? <clears throat> for one week. So that at that specific time, your campaign will stop the, uh, the running of the ad and <clears throat> And so you don't start wasting more money because if you put a campaign and you put end time none and you just forget about it, Google is gonna suck your money out, okay? That's why this is very important uh, to tell you this part right here, okay? But normally I like to keep it no ending, I mean, it has no ending, so that uh, it will run just basically forever and I'll keep an eye on it. I can pause whenever I want, I can do whatever I want, okay? This part is important, okay? So I wanna let you know that. Okay, then we have this very important part right here, which is targeting audiences. This is where we're gonna target. So basically we can target all countries worldwide, everywhere in the world. We can select here, the country right here. We can say, for example, United States, which basically is where I run most of my ads or Canada or any country you want. But also you can right here, uh, not just uh, the uh, country, but you can type the specific city that you want your ad to show. And this is very important because let's say 
you do in an ad uh, on uh, your local area. And let's say you're a dentist, okay? So you, if you're gonna do an ad for a dentist, uh, uh, then you wanna target where the location of that dentist is so that you target just people around you. Therefore, you're gonna type in the location, uh, the it's city or religion, or even you can do it by postal code. You can add it over there and target, okay? So that's that very important target. Uh, in this case, I'm, we're, I'm just gonna go for the United States and I'm gonna put Canada as well. Right here, target. I can see the amount of uh, the reach, like how many people I can reach um, on this location. Okay, then over here, language, languages. This is very self-explanatory. This is uh, if what type of people you wanna target. People that speak English and French or just English. In this case, I want people just that speak English for this, okay? So basically, whatever language you're going for, select the language. Uh, maybe it could be more than one language, you can do that as well. Very self-explanatory, this part as well. And then we have here audiences. Don't worry about this because with search, uh, what we're gonna do uh, for, it's not, we're not gonna focus on the audience. We're gonna focus on the keyword, okay? So leave that part uh, alone, doesn't matter. Then here on budget and bidding, uh, we're gonna do is how much are you willing to spend per day? If you're just starting out, I recommend, you know, five, five dollars, five dollars, five euros or 10, uh, euros and then as you go and as you test then you can put more money in okay then we have we scroll down and then we the bidding is how much are you paying per conversion so if you are tracking and I, I'm gonna talk about tracking in a moment um, uh, with uh, let me show you here with this right here I'm gonna show you uh, okay let me close let me clean this up Okay, I'm gonna sh talk to you about tracking uh, because you can track the thank you page, okay? And by the way, if you want a simple tracking, I have a video on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna leave the link below, which is this video, I'm gonna leave the link for this specific list where you're gonna find this video right here, which is the uh, setup conversion tracking Google Ads Simplified. So this is, you can uh, track, simplify adding the code to your website. This is a simple way to do it you can go do that route. But basically, you wanna keep doing this campaign like what we're doing right now and then uh, worry about the conversion after you the campaign is active, that's okay, uh, okay? So you can optimize based on conversion, right? What you wanna focus on, conversion, and uh, you can set the, the cost per action. So you, how much are you, are you willing to spend on the conversion? Like are, are you willing to pay, you know, five, dollars per conversion, ten dollars, a hundred dollars per conversion, right? Because the product that you are promoting might pay you a thousand bucks or, uh, you know, depending on how much you pay, it's how much you're willing to put in, right? But now, what I like to do from start is instead of focusing on the conversion from start, I like to do clicks. And what I like to do here is six maximum click cost per click. Uh, and then right here, I like to set a, a limit. Let's say I'm willing to pay only uh, 50 cents per click, okay? Let's say I'm willing to pay, to pay this amount per click. Uh, and then you have different options here. Uh, you can look into them, but these two are the ones that I like to use, okay? Uh, I don't wanna complicate too much here. Um, of course, like I said, this is a learning process. You then can learn about the others, but these two I find to be the, the most ones you wanna focus on clicks and conversion first clicks so um, you, how much are you willing to p spend per click uh, if you're just starting out okay it can be less uh, for this key uh, okay I'm just gonna put 50 um, cents okay so this is bidding okay let's move on and then we, if you click over here show more options we have uh, the conversions okay it's this right here right uh, but this I'm gonna leave it for li uh, later down on the video okay because I don't want to confuse you right now. I just want to get you this campaign running and then I'm going to go over into more detail, okay? Then all you got to do is save and continue over here on the bottom. All right, so right here, <clears throat> this is the ad group. You can have multiple ad groups later on if you want. Basically, uh, but one, it's enough. 
I don't want to, again, complicate. Just keep it simple. One, so ad group number one, just leave it that name. You can change if you want. And right here is very important, the keywords, okay? So with the keywords, I recommend you do this very important thing, especially if you're just starting out. And even for more advanced people, I recommend you do this, is focus on one keyword only. The man who chases two rabbits catches none. Let me explain to you why you want to focus on one keyword only. Um, it's because of this. Watch this example right here. When people search for, let's say this example, best CRM. If they search for this, there's going to be a couple of ads showing. And uh, first one says Zuhu Online CRM Software. Best small business CRM. World most popular CRM. And then we have top 40 CRM softwares, uh, software ranked. This is matching intent. Meaning when people search for best CRM, they are looking to find the best CRM. So they're looking for options, okay? This ad right here at the bottom, which is the top 40 CRM softwares, it's the one that they're gonna click because they want to know what's, which one is the best one. They're gonna look for kind of a, a review of it of them so right that's why you want to focus on one keyword so you can do this or else if you go for so many keywords you're not going to be able to niche down and be very specific because the if because it's like this let me come here again to this part if you put now let me sh talk to you about this keyword stuff now if you put uh, look right here on the on the bottom let me zoom in to show you right here you see this thing right here it says right here if you put uh, the keyword, which is just the name of the keyword, uh, let's, lay, just, let's say for example, uh, side hustles. If you just put side hustles, it's a broad match thing. What happens is um, every, uh, any keyword that has this uh, uh, side hustle, it's, 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 it's gonna show the ad. Now, if you use this one right here, which is the brackets, the keyword with the brackets, these things right here on the right, on the right here at the end, these brackets, it's going to go for exact match. And that's what you want to be doing because so you can uh, do your ad in a way that's going to target the right people. So if you go and you put right here side hustles like this, like just like this, it's, it's going to go for um, so many people. Uh, so I'm sorry, it's going to go, it's going to show your ad to all of these phrases that have side hustles in it. Okay. That's why you want to add brackets, these things over here, you want to add these things over here, right? Brackets. You want to add these things like this. So if you choose this keyword, you're going to add brackets so that it only shows ads to people that search just side hustles. That's it. And that's what I recommend you to, okay? Now, the keyword research, I, when you are, at, at, you are at this part, I always recommend you do the keyword research so you know how much the keyword, uh, are people paying for the, the click, with the lowest and the highest? Does it have enough traffic to, for you to go after the keyword? And that's when I have a video that comes in and shows you exactly how to do the keyword research, which I'm gonna leave the, in the description of this video as well. It's this video right here. Okay, let me go here. Is this one keyword research for Google? How to use it? Okay, this is going to literally show you how to use the keyword research and how you can do it and use it. Okay, so once you do the keyword research, then you're going to find which keywords you want to go for. It can be more than one, but again, I recommend you do only one, only do one. Because the man who chases two rabbits catches none. Let me give an example. If this keyword, if people search for side hustles online, let me give you uh, my landing page. So my website, so they are searching here on Google for uh, side hustles. They land on my landing page, which, what is my landing page? This is my landing page. Video reveals the unbelievable, easy, and then look, side hustle. They are looking for side hustles. So on my landing page, I give the keyword. That's very important because if people are searching for side hustle, this is a side hustle to make money online in 48 hours. Okay. That's why one keyword is better because you can talk to specifically to their needs 
on the landing page and also on the ad itself. So let me, so we've, okay, so we've picked this keyword. Okay, let's move on, save and continue. Okay, so on this part right here, <clears throat> before you create your ad. Now, as you can see over here on the, on the right, you have this thing right here, which is uh, for you, uh, ad strength. Basically, what it will tell you the ad strength. And here, you already have the landing page because you already added, it, it's there. And then right here, it's gonna ask you to put titles, headlines, and then descriptions uh, of your ad, okay? So the head, the headline of the ad is basically this thing right here on top, right? And the description is this thing right here, okay? As you can see, right? So this is asking you to put a couple of headlines and a couple of uh, descriptions. And what we'll do is it will test them automatically, one versus the other to find winners, okay? That's what they do. I normally, this is one way, this is the new way to do it. I normally don't like to do it this way. What I like to do instead is right here, as you can see this thing right here, let me zoom in, right here, this link, switch back to text ads. I like to use this method because I like to have maybe multiple ads and then see which one is working instead of having this thing uh, do the automatically for me. I like to see exactly what's working. Therefore, I like to use switch back to simple, switch to text, ads yes switch okay and this what's going to do is going to give me a simplified version of it and that's what i like to work with on it because i like to do one ad and then i can do more if i want so they will split test versus one another i'm going to show you what i'm talking about to you in a moment but first let's create the campaign get it running okay let's create this one ad so first we're going to put the title over here so for example uh the easy way the easy side hustle to make money to make and then it doesn't have enough space so we can move on to the next headline that's what normally what i do so the easiest side hustle to make money online in 48 hours and then i can put guaranteed that's not how you spell it, but anyways, that's, that means guaranteed right there, okay? So, all right, so that's the headline. Now the description. Okay, we add description. I'm just gonna add uh, any description now, just for an example. Okay, I'm gonna type in something. Okay, so uh, learn about the easiest, easy, easy, Easiest way, the easiest side hustle to make a side income online in 48 hours only. Okay, boom. All right, that's the description. And then we're gonna go, that's the ad. I'm gonna save and continue. Okay, that's, now this, we're gonna review the ad. It's gonna tell us uh, the cost, the daily average cost that we're gonna be spending per day. Uh, we're gonna get five clicks per day. It looks like this keyword doesn't have, doesn't have a lot of traffic, but then we can change that later on. But for now, that's perfect, okay? It tells you it tells you what it is here what you have and let's click publish okay all right okay so let's come here to all the campaigns here on top okay all right so okay which one oh yeah this one is the one what, that we did this one right here okay we did this one right here right no no yeah, this one right here, Funnily Fabio 2, this is what we did. Now, now that we did this, uh, now that we did this, um, I was gonna show you right now how to do a display ad campaign. 
para for uh, simplifying purposes I'm not gonna show you the display ad in this video I'm actually gonna do a, another video later in the future on just display ads okay I'm just gonna cover search ad right now for this uh, tutorial because I don't want to overwhelm you and I want to explain to you other things that are really important uh, okay because uh, I don't want to confuse you so let's move on so that I can show you other things uh, and have the time to do so or else this video is gonna be incredibly long and you're gonna be it's so much information so uh, but I'll, I'll cover a display ad later on later down the line uh, but basically if you want to do a display ads really quick is the same process but instead of you doing search you're gonna do display and then you're gonna add images, and uh, you can, and with display, you can you can uh, go for uh, audiences, meaning you can target specific audience on your niche. Okay, you can do that. Uh, so, okay, so now let's move on to this. So we've created this campaign, this campaign right here. Okay, which is funnily Fabio two. Now I want to show you a couple of things which is if you click if you click the campaign on top of it what's going to come in is the ad group that you've created so if you come here to the left and you go onto keywords it's going to show you the keywords that you've added okay this is just to show you that you can access now your campaign while it's running and change things as you like okay so if you were to do the keyword research again for other keywords you can come here and click add and add more keywords or just uh, change this keyword and you can see the data over here is going to show you uh, how much are you paying if it's converts or not basic now the conversion i'm going to show you in a moment uh, but i just want to show you that now that once you are on on the campaign you can move around here and you can change things on the campaign after it's done like for instance you can come here to the uh, ads here right and this is the ad that we just created remember this ad we've created the easiest side hustle this one and note that it's pending under review so it's gonna be under review and they're gonna approve it or not okay they're gonna see if they will approve it or not okay so that there is where you can see when did the campaign did it got approved or not you gotta wait a little bit they're gonna approve it take some time maybe a couple of uh, minutes sometimes hours and sometimes even days but mostly it's uh, one hour about that uh, okay so basically if you if your campaign is not uh, bringing traffic in you can come here and see if your ad is it's approved or not because if it's not approved it, that's the reason okay then again you can add another ad over here right you can add as many ads as you want to this campaign so they can split test or they can automatically find a winner and for you to set up this up like let's say you add a couple of ads over here you add more ads on this part what you can do is you can come here to settings note that you're you now you're working all on the on the on the campaign on your campaign that you've uh, created because over here it tells you what which campaign you're working right here you see you're always working on this campaign so now we are on settings and if you come here to um, uh, advanced settings and then if you come here to add rotation at this point is going for optimize prefer best performing ads so on this part right here where you add ads you can add as many as you want and it will choose the best one but what I like to do is do this one right here which is do not optimize R rotate ads indefinitely and then I myself will make the judgment not Google okay and I like to do it this way okay so I'm gonna go ahead and save okay now here we are on settings now note that on settings you can do a lot of things you can change here the budget per day if you want to change that you come here and you change it right you can change the language you can change the location if you want okay and you can change the bidding uh, style I put remember I put 50 cents so I can change everything here okay I wanted to show you this because this is important now on the same campaign you can come here on the left you go to add schedule 
and you actually can choose uh, what time of the day or what days uh, you want to show the ads. You can go here on the left to day and hour and you can say, okay, I just want to show between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., which is, by the way, is the time that I recommend, okay? And you can do this as well here. Uh, and my, many other things you can do here. So I recommend you go around here and see this because this is basically everything. Uh, you can choose the demographics age. You can basically say, okay, I just want uh, this age of person, like from 18 to 30 to see my ad. The gender, I want just females, you can see. So you can say, so for example, I can say unknown here, I can say exclude uh, from ad group. This, this means it will not uh, show ads to unknown, only from people that are between 18 and 65. Let's say 65, I wanna take it out, I put exclude, okay? And that way it's gonna show ads to just these people. And the reason I'm showing you this is very important because if you don't know these things, then you're gonna kind of be lost. You wanna know what you're doing. And also the data after once, like the campaign once it's active, once it's approved and it's the traffic starts coming in, the data is gonna come here. So you're gonna see the conversions and everything. You're gonna see which one converts best. And that's, that's when you can turn off a few things and just leave the ones that are actually bringing you conversions, okay? So for instance, for instance you can even come here to devices, which is pretty cool. And then you can see which devices are converting the most. Is it computer? Is it mobile? Is it tablet? Okay, and you can see all of this data right here. Again, note that I'm always working on the same campaign, always on the same campaign. So if I come here to all campaigns on top and see, this is two different campaigns. This one is the one that I've created. So when I click on the campaign itself, it's when I go to the left and I go over here, I can play around with this, okay? You get it, get it guys? You get me? You watching, just you, yeah. Oh, don't get overwhelmed, please, don't get overwhelmed. I'm just trying to show you the bolts and nuts of it. It can be a little a bit overwhelmed, but as you watching me and as you see me do this and teaching you this, there's a lot of light balls might come into your mind and you go like, mm, okay, no, this is making sense. I get it, you know? So that's what, that's what my goal for you. Uh, I don't wanna just, I, you know, I already showed you how to build an, a, a, the put the ad running, but I wanna go into more uh, detail, more, a little bit advanced stuff, because that's what makes you profitable with Google Ads or else you're just gonna be wasting money, okay? So let's move on, so I'm gonna show you more stuff, okay? So <clears throat> now, now let me show you something, okay? So, okay, so now that you are on the campaign, if you go here to, uh, uh, to settings, let's go here to settings. And let me show you this. If you go here to additional settings, okay, you have this thing right here, which is conversions. So you can track the, conver the conversions are re really important. So you know if people convert it or not. So what you wanna be doing is you, you, you can choose a conversion to track, see, I have so many uh, types of conversions. And what you wanna be doing is you can choose a conversion. Where do you uh, make these conversions? Where do you uh, set these conversions so they will fire when people, they're on your campaign? What you do is you come here on tools on top and then you come here to measurement and then conversions, okay? Okay. Now, Okay, so now you can set up a conversion right here, right, so that, let me show you this graph over here, so that when people land on your page right here, so that you're sending people to this landing page, right, but they go throughout the funnel, they go to this bridge page, and then they click a button here, and then they go to the thank you page. When they land on this thank you page right here, you can fire a conversion right here on this page saying that they bought and they paid, okay? That means that it was a conversion. They paid for the product. They landed on the thank you page. And now you can fire a conversion there. And I have a video, which is right here. I'm gonna leave the link below in the description of this, of this video, which is right here. Uh, set up conversion tracking ads simplified. 
okay? It's gonna show you how to do it in a simple manner. This, if, this way is for you to do it, you go to the, your website, whatever you're, you are hosting it, uh, and right here, you're gonna go, go to your website and you're gonna add the, the code into the thank you page, okay? That's what you would do. And then once you add the code to your thank you page, let me show you, uh, you're gonna, the conversion uh, is gonna be right here, like purchased $1 right here, this one, for example. Uh, and then what you do is you come back to your campaign, which is right here, you're on it, but let me go back again, show you how you get there. So it's right here, we're using this one, funnily 5 u 2 that's the ad that, that's the campaign that we've created. Now on the left, we go to settings, and then here on additional settings, we go to conversions. And then we choose the conversions that we that we set up. For example, we could choose begin checkout $1 plan conversion, okay? And then we save it. Now what this will do, let me come back here to conversions. I mean to the campaigns. And right here, this is what we've created, right? Uh, if we go to the right, when people purchase and they land on the thank you page, it's gonna show one over here, okay? Let me show you this page right here. When they land on this page, I fire the conversion pixel, the conversion code, and it's gonna show right here, it's gonna show one right here, okay? Now, this part, now let me show you this, okay? Let me show you this, this is important. That's the one I wanna show you now. <clears throat> and bear with me, because I'm gonna show you more cool stuff, okay? Uh, today I'm gonna give you so much cool stuff, okay? So here it is. So let me talk to you now about this thing, because I'm talking about conversions now, and I wanna talk to you about this, which is the, um, the tag uh, manager, okay? Okay, the tag manager, it's the software from Google. It's not Google Ads. It's a different uh, website from Google. And what this software does is basically, uh, <clears throat> so right here, when, when uh, right here, we're on the Google Ads. Uh, if we come here and we're gonna so let me come here to measurements and conversions. Let me come here to the conversions parts and show you something. Let me grab here a conversion here. Um, just this conversion, any one that I've created. Okay. If I come here to the tag settings, this is right here, insert tag yourself. This is if, if this code right here is the code that you would add to your website uh, on the head part of your website to fire the conversion along with this code right here, okay? This is what you would add. Now, what you would add is, <clears throat> you would add that code into uh, one, into your this web page right here, okay? You would add the code right here to the page. Now what Google Tag does is instead of you adding the code to the page, you're gonna add the code into the Tag Manager. Why? Because the thing is with Tag Manager, you add one specific code of the Tag Manager. I'm gonna show you right now how you do it. And you add the code to all of your pages uh, and then inside of here you can, you can basically add so many codes and they, they so instead of you having so many codes on all of your pages, uh, you have it all in here. I hope I did not uh, complicate your mind with this, but let me, let me break it down to you. <clears throat> okay, this is the software that I'm talking to you about. This is Tag Manager. If you go to tagmanager.google.com, and you create an account. Let's. I've created an account for this domain, which is my domain, fabioric.com. Okay. Once you create, by the way, I'm not going to go uh, over the process of creating. It's so simple. Just click create and follow the steps. Once you've done that, what will happen is you will 
it will bring you to this page right here. Okay, this page right here. Now this page right here, when you are at this page, you will see this, you will see that, oops, okay, <clears throat> that you are in this specific uh, URL, which is the, your domain. And it's gonna show this thing right here, which is this code right here, okay? <clears throat> now what this code is, when you click on this code, it's going to give you instructions for you to add this specific code to your website. Okay. And once you do this, what happens is, and by the way, let me show you how we, you would do this, how simple it is. This is how simple it is. Let me go to here to my website builder, which is builder all. I use the all in one marketing platform to build my websites. This is it. I'm going to show you how you add it here. By the way, I'm going to leave also a 14 day, uh, a 14 day free trial of this tool below in the comment section. If you want to try this tool out, this is what I use for my websites. So let me come here to uh, my website and show you. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to go to my, uh, this domain where I'm, where I'm talking to you about, which is this one, right? Which is fabiorique.com. Okay. Let me come here to my, uh, website builder. Okay. I'm going to go and look for that domain. This is our, our, all my websites here. So this is my website. Okay. So on my website, what I can do is I can come here to the settings. This is fabric.com and what, and here on the settings, I have this thing right here, which is script settings on the left. And if I scroll down, it has this thing, which is pixel settings. Okay. And then right here, which is Google tag manager. This code right here, it's this code right here. This one, your code, this code right here. You copy this code right here and you simply add it over here like so, and you go and you save it. When you do this, what happens is all of the pages on your websites, which by the way, I have so many, as you can see, will be uh, Google manager, this tool right here will, will have that code on all the pages. Note that I've just copied this code. That's because with builder, all that's the only thing you need to do. But if you're doing on WordPress or any other website builder, click funnels or whatever, you would have to, uh, actually grab these codes and put it all these codes in, but with builder all, because they made it very easy for the user. The only thing you have to do is basically add that code that I shared you that I showed you. Okay. Now, now that code that I've added to the website. Now what happens is let me come here. This is my now note that this, this example, this right here is my website. This is uh, Fabio or Actually this page right here is this one that I've showed you this one, Fabio or forward slash landing page one LP one means landing page one. Okay. And, uh, so this right here, this is the landing page. Okay. And this is the bridge page. They're all on fabioric.com URL. Now what I did there with Google manager is they are firing a Google manager pixel on all the pages. What this means is that any page that the user go now inside of this tag manager, I can do all kinds of things. So I don't have to go now ever again to my website to add codes. I can just add all the codes here. Okay. So basically when we go here on tag manager, when we go to tags, which by the way, tags basically means a piece of code on your website. So now you can add pieces of uh, codes to, to all your website without going into your website ever again, you can do it everything here. And here's what I mean. So for in, for instance, I'm firing, uh, this pixel right here, which is, let me show you this one right here. Okay. This pixel right here, which is a Google ad conversion tracking, they paid the $1. So what this is, is once they pay the $1, uh, this is a Google ad conversion tracking. Now, what this does is I'm 
basically I'm going to show you what it what it's doing. Um, okay, basically it, this only has two things, which is the tag, the piece of code, and then you have the trigger. Where where will it trigger? The trigger it will trigger on the thank you page. You see equals the page equals thank you page. Okay. This is the the path equals thank you TP1, which is the thank you page. And then what I have here, the, the tag, which is the code, I, I go to uh, Google ads over here. And instead of inserting the code, like I was talking to you about a few moments ago, it's, it's instead of inserting the code myself on the website, now I'm going to use Google, you use Google tag manager. I'm going to add these conversion codes right here. So you can see this is the exact code. You see this code and this code I add it right there. Okay. Now for me to build this, the only thing I would have to do is go to new. The tag, it would be, I'm going to select the tag and it's going to be a um, Google ad conversion tracking. Okay. Then I would grab the, the conversion ID which I would come here, right? The conversion ID is this one, okay? Copy, go back here to Google Manager, paste it over here, and then conversion label. I would come here, boom, copy, come here, and I'm gonna paste it, okay? And then I'm gonna save it. Okay, wait, let me see. Okay, uh, okay, uh, save, okay, I'm gonna add the trigger, which is, okay, let me go back. Because I want to add the trigger. Where will this uh, this conversion action trigger? So right here, if you were to grab the code and add it to your website, you would add to the thank you page. Because I'm using Google Manager, I don't have to go to the website to change the code. What I do basically is I come here to trigger, and I could trigger it on all the pages, but I could come here, add new page and add the trigger, I'm gonna say page view, and I'm gonna put some pages, and then I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go to uh, page path, contains, uh, contains, equals actually, to my uh, thank you page one, which is the name of my thank you page. Okay, this is the path for my thank you page. And what I mean by the path is like this up here, you see fabioorig.com forward slash LP1. The thank you page, it's TP1, thank you page. So when they land on the thank you page, I make a conversion. And when I do this, I save, I'm not gonna save it now, but I save everything. And this is what I did basically is exactly what's done over here. And once it's done, what I can do is I can test this. Um, I can test this. For example, um, I'm gonna go and test this right now. So I'm gonna go to this one right here. No, no, what I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna copy the um, the uh, URL for the thank you page just to see if it fires. So I know the URL for this thank you page is this one. So I'm gonna actually go here, thank you page one. This is the URL for the thank you page, okay? It says, congratulations on joining the funnily enough. This is the thank you page. When they land on this page, I know they paid, okay? Because this is a redirect to the thank you page. Okay, so what I'm gonna grab this URL and I'm gonna go here to uh, Google uh, Manager and I'm gonna go to this thing right here, which is, and then once you, uh, uh, once you add this, you have to go and submit, okay, here. I'm going too fast and uh, again, I'm gonna do another tutorial on basically just on uh, Google Manager. Uh, I'm just going over the basics here, uh, but once you do any changes, you have to submit. But let's go here to preview because this is where we're gonna test if the conversion fire is firing on the right page. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and paste the URL of the thank you page just to see if it's firing on that page. What this will do, as you saw, it's opening a URL right here of the thank you page. And then over here, I can see 
what did happen? Okay, continue. Here's what happened. The output, it fired, it is right here, text fired, you see? Text fired, it fired the thank you page paid. It means that when they landed on this page, it fired this and on Google ads, uh, it fired the conversion, okay? And the reason you, okay, okay, now let me get out of here. Let me come back here. Now, the good thing about Google Manager is that you can fire so many things throughout your web page. For example, just to give an example, uh, I'm using a, a ad roll smart pixel, which is, by the way, for you guys that don't know what ad roll is, let me, let me come here and show you. So ad roll is a, uh, a website where, not this one, this one, uh, where you can retarget people, okay? So if people land it, uh, for instance, on this page right here, okay, this page right here, and they did not opt in, I can retarget them. And this website does exactly this, it's ad roll. And so when you log into this website, you they have a pixel. Okay, let me log in and show you. And by the way, they have a pixel like Google and like uh, Facebook, they all have pixels where you can fire them. So here it is, the pixel, it's active. So if I come here to website and I can come here to my, my pixel, I can look for my pixel, ad world pixel, see here the pixel. So if I click view pixel, I can copy this uh, URL and if I were just, I would have to go to my website to change it, but because I'm using Google Tag Manager, I don't have to come to my website. I only come to Tag Manager and I go and I add a pixel. So the way that I would do it, I would come to new, I would come to the tag configuration and I would look for the ad roll smart pixel. Here it is, boom. Okay, then you add the details, all the details, and boom, you have the ad firing on your page. Let me, this card changes for now. But again, you, it's firing on my page, uh, on all my pages, I've put it to fire on all the pages, so it tracks all the pages, okay? And then the good thing about this is, uh, then on this ad roll, I can show ads specifically to people that landed on specific pages. So if they landed on the first page and they did not opt in, I can show them an ad. Hey, I saw that you you did not uh, took a look into what we had. Uh, or maybe if they did opt in, I can show them an ad with the program that I'm promoting. Hey, try Builder All for one dollar right now. Uh, you know remind them that they can do this and they go through the link. If they pay, I'm making commissions. I'm making money. Okay. Uh, so Google Tag Manager is really powerful because you can fire, you can add so many codes into any page, specific page to of your web page, depending on where you want to fire the pixel, the code. Uh, and, and you don't have to go back to your website over and over again. So it's a, a time saving machine tag manager. Um, it's really, really powerful. Now, another thing I want to talk to you about is uh, the uh, Google Analytics. Okay, Google Analytics. Now, again, you can go ahead and you uh, Google Analytics. It's a website. Again, it's a website like this. You can go to analytics.google.com, and uh, for basic. So right now, we have two people on my website currently. I can see how many people is on my website. And I can see data here that it's really important. Like uh, uh, you can see uh, like which keywords are bringing you the traffic, uh, all of that important information, which by the way, you would come here to acquisition and then you go to all traffic or Google ads and then you can see the campaign and you can see, uh, you know, where the traffic came from. Uh, how long did they stay on the, on the, on the page? Uh, you know, you can see data that will make you, will help you make better decisions uh, on your campaigns, on your ads, uh, which keywords are performing the most. So you can cut the, the worst and keep the best. All of these important information you can see here. 
and uh, you can see by URL and everything is so powerful. Now, if you want to add Google Analytics into your website, you could definitely do it manually, but I always recommend you use Google uh, Tags because it's gonna make your life easier. Now, for you to add the code of Google Analytics into your website, for me, instead of me going to Builder All and doing, you know, putting the code there manually, so many codes, and it's gonna be, if you're doing Google Ads, you're gonna have so many codes, it's gonna complicate your brain. As if you're in Google Tag Manager, everything is in one place, it's gonna make it easier for you. So for example, I added that analytics code to all of my websites using Tag Manager. So what I did is I basically add right here, Google Analytics Universal right here. And I, I set it to target on all pages, okay? And basically for you to add this, you go to new and you like this, you go to new, you go to tag, and right here, you have Google um, Analytics right here, boom. You select and you follow the uh, steps to add it, okay? So basically, that's uh, what you gotta do to add. <clears throat> of course, um, you have to go and, and, uh, and configure it all, but uh, it's very worth it. Now, again, Google Analytics, you wanna have this on. Uh, you definitely wanna have this on. Uh, because for instance, you can come here uh, to Google Ads campaigns and you can see uh, if people are bouncing off your website when they land, depending on the keyword. So if you, f if you look at the keyword that people are bouncing out of that keyword, then you can go to your Google Ads campaign and just take that keyword out, right? So you keep the ones that are performing the best. And you want to be looking at your data, your traffic source, all the good stuff that comes here with Google Analytics. You want to be looking at it. You want to be tracking everything. Um, tracking is like the most important thing uh, on Google. Um, and also, you know, split testing as well. If you want to learn how to split test, I also have a video on my YouTube channel. You can search. Um, it's uh, just search for uh, split test. Uh, on my YouTube channel and you will find a video teaching you how to do split testing. But for, for example, you can also do split testing here uh, with Google Ads. Let me show you. So if you come here and if you come here to ads, oh, let me show, let me select the campaign that we've created uh, right here. So if you come here and you go to um, ads, right? What you could do here is you could have multiple ads, but the URL of the ads being a different URL, you can change. So you can come here and edit like so. And right here, so you could go ahead and uh, right here is the URL of the ad, of the landing page. So you could have mo two or three landing page, different landing pages to test, to test them out, to see which one performs better and then just, you know, you can duplicate the ad. You can just come right here. Um, you can come right here and you can just copy and edit. Let me do this. Okay, it, this what it did is it made a copy of the ad. Now you can change the URL. I'm gonna change for a different URL just to show you. I'm gonna type a different thing here and save, save. Okay, and then as you can see, we have two different URLs and uh, one versus the other to see uh, which one will get you the most conversions here on the right. Uh, and you can track all data, right? Now, I definitely recommend you come and use uh, analytics as well. Um, yeah, guys, there we go. I hope that was helpful. I can go into more details, but I, I covered like the most important stuff here. Um, yeah, and I will be making a video on Tag Manager, uh, go more on detail on basically step by step on more on, um, and also Google Analytics. I want to do a, a really good tutorial on here as well. Um, but yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you could always comment below and ask me. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as I do videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday 
about making money online and helping you become unstoppable. Thank you very much for being here with me. Have a blessing day and I will see you next time.